the pilot did not die due to injuries suffered from the plane crash. He actually had shot himself moments before the plane had crashed and committed suicide. He had departed from Cottonwood and his plane ultimately crashed in our area at the Bullhead Laughlin International Airport. So it's unknown whether he was attempting to land there. The FAA is conducting that portion of the investigation, but he took off from Cottonwood. The pilot had shot himself for whatever reason, we don't really, really know at this point, had shot himself in the head and then the plane had crashed. It's very interesting and I'm very much impressed. The departments are really working very hard to keep their budgets tight and everything else as we've requested. So it was very good and we had some interesting exchanges with some different departments. Stay just basically as close to last year as possible and then to keep their request down. And most of the departments came in real good. We've got over $4 million and it's a real challenge. The town council voted to send a letter to the Water Advisory Committee to reduce its dues payments by 50% for the next fiscal year. It's a no-harm proposal. They have the money to carry out everything they need to do next fiscal year with a 50% dues reduction. We outreach to the Board of Supervisors members individually and to a number of the members that are on the Water Advisory Committee to let them know that we were taking this action the council was. We're suggesting that the Water Advisory Committee consider it for everybody who pays dues in. Is, I mean, that will just be a huge bottleneck. You will not have accomplished the main goal of relieving the traffic congestion. So the joint project that we're considering with the city of Prescott, I think, would relieve a lot of that traffic. It's a lot easier to go to ADOT and say, we have a proposal where we're willing to chip in some money and pay for the design and get this project going than just to say, please let us have it. 